welcome to learn with us this is the first practical of basic electronics what are the objectives of this practical the first objective is to get familiar with basic electronic components such as resistors capacitors inductors switches and batteries and the second objective is to understand the color coding of resistors what are resistors a resistor is a passive two terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element the current through a resistor is in direct proportion to the voltage across the resistor's terminals this relationship is represented by ohm's law the electrical behavior of a resistor obeys ohm's law for a constant resistance a resistor is a device that is used in electrical circuits to maintain a constant relation between current flow and voltage some resistors are sensitive to heat light or other variables resistors are one of the most used components in a circuit they are used to step up or lower the voltage at different points in a circuit and they can be used either to transform a current signal into a voltage signal or to transform a voltage signal into a current signal most resistors are color coded but some have their values and their tolerance printed on them these values are in ohms a multimeter is a device that can check the resistance when the value of resistor is unknown resistors are typically marked with an r on a circuit board what are potentiometers potentiometers are variable resistors they normally have their values marked with the maximum value in ohms smaller potentiometers may use a three digit code where the first two digits are significant and the third digit is the multiplier they may also have a letter code on them indicating the taper which shows how resistance changes in relation to how far the potentiometer is turned they are typically marked with a vr on a circuit board now what are capacitors a capacitor is a passive two terminal electrical component that is used to store energy electrostatically in an electric field the forms of practical capacitors vary widely but all contain at least two electrical conductors separated by a dielectric insulator capacitors are widely used as parts of electrical circuits in many common electrical devices they are also very commonly used many capacitors have their values printed on them some are marked with a three digit code and a few are color coded they are typically marked with a c on a circuit board now what are inductors inductors also called coils or reactors are 
passive two terminal electrical components which resist changes in electric current passing through them. An inductor consists of a conductor such as a wire which is usually wound into a coil. When a current flows through an inductor, energy is stored in a magnetic field in the coil. When the current flowing through an inductor changes, the time varying magnetic field induces a voltage in the conductor. This is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This induced voltage opposes the change in current that created it by Lenz's law. Since inductors are coils, so it is a bit harder to figure out their values. A good meter can be used to measure inductance. They are typically marked with an L on a circuit board. Now what are transformers? A transformer is a static electrical device that transfers energy by inductive coupling between its winding circuits. There are two windings in a transformer. One is primary winding and other is secondary winding. A varying current in the primary winding creates a varying magnetic flux in the transformer's core, thus creating a varying magnetic flux in the secondary winding. This varying magnetic flux induces a varying electromotive force EMF or voltage in the secondary winding. Transformers are pretty easy to identify by sight and many have their specifications printed on them. They are typically marked with a T on a circuit board. Now what are switches? In electrical engineering, a switch is an electrical component that can break an electrical circuit interrupting the current or diverting it from one conductor to another. The most familiar form of a switch is a manually operated electromechanical device with one or more sets of electrical contacts which are connected to external circuits. Each set of contacts can be in one of two states. First state is closed which means the contacts are touching and electricity can flow between them. Second state is open which means the contacts are separated and the switch is non-conducting. Now what are Batteries. A battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cells that convert stored chemical energy into electrical energy. Batteries are also pretty easy to identify. They are well marked with their specifications. Now what are relays? A relay is an electrically operated switch. Many relays use an electromagnet to operate a switching mechanism mechanically but other operating principles are also used. Relays are used where it is necessary to control a circuit by a low power signal or where several circuits must be controlled by one signal. Relays are typically enclosed in plastic. 
and many have their specifications printed on them. They are typically marked with a K on a circuit board. Now we will understand color coding of resistors. Most resistors are color coded with markings or bands that allow you to quickly identify resistance values and tolerance. Look at this color chart table. This color chart table will allow you to determine the value of any common four band resistor. Memorizing this color chart will enable you to become proficient at quickly decoding and using resistors. Now look at this figure. This is a four band resistor. As you can see in a four band resistor, the first two bands, they represent digits or significant figures. Here this third band indicates the multiplier. It means number of zeros that will follow the second digit. This fourth band indicates the tolerance. This is the tolerance in this color chart table. You read resistors bands beginning with the end that has the most bands. Here this space between third and fourth bands also indicates the reading direction. It means this is the reading direction of this resistor. Okay. Now look at this resistor. As you can see here, the first band is red. So the first digit value is 2. Here the second band is violet. So digit 2 is 7. The third band is brown. So we multiply this number with 10 because as we can see here in this chart, multiply in case of brown color is 10. So the value of this resistor is 270 ohms with the tolerance of plus or minus 5% because here this fourth band is gold and we know that the tolerance of gold color is plus or minus 5%. Now look at this combination. This is first band, this is second band, this is third band and this is fourth band. Here first band is orange. So the first digit value is 3. The second band is white. So digit 2 is 9. The third band is silver. So we multiply this number with 0 0.01. It means the value of this resistor is 0 0.3 9 ohms with the tolerance of plus or minus 10 percent because here fourth band is silver and as 
you can see here in this chart the tolerance in case of silver color is plus or minus 10%. Now let's determine what the bands would be on a 15 kilo ohms resistor with the tolerance of plus or minus 2% percent since the first digit is 1 so the first band color would be brown the second digit is 5 so the second band color would be green here the value of this resistor is 15000 ohms it means we need to add three zeros to 15 so here the multiplier is 1000 it means the third band color would be orange here the tolerance is plus or minus 2% it means the fourth and last band color would be red. So this is how you are going to use this color chart table for finding the values of four band resistors or for finding color bands for any given values of resistors. Now here is your first post lab task. You have to use the color chart which is shown in previous slides to decode the values of the following resistors and you have to indicate their tolerance as well. These are the color codes of these resistors. You have to write their nominal values, maximum values and minimum values values okay here is your second post lab task what are the color bands of the resistors with following values all having plus or minus 5% tolerance the value of first resistor is 22 kilo ohms the value of second resistor is 10 ohms and the value of third resistor is 10 kilo ohms. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, then write your questions in comment section of this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends and family. Thank you.